Hello everyone, this is AstroZach. Although most of what I do is solar observing, I am looking forward to the grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn here in just under two weeks. It's going to be the closest the two planets have appeared to each other in the sky since 1623. It's almost 400 years. And at their closest, on the night of December 21st, they're going to be just a little bit more than a tenth of a degree apart from each other. And so the natural question is, if I look at those through my telescope, will I be able to see both planets at the same time? Or if I switch out to my camera, will I be able to get a picture of the two planets at the same time, even with all their moons? Uh, this ultimately comes down to a question of the field of view, and the answer is yes, you will be able to see both planets at the same time and maybe get a photo, but the exact image or the exact view is really going to depend on the equipment that you have. From experience, I know that with my normal telescope and camera that I'll be able to fit both of them in there, but they're still going to be so close, the magnification won't be that high, it won't be that great a view necessarily. So, what happens if I increase the magnification by using a Barlow or a PowerMate? Or what happens if I switch out entirely and decide to use a DSLR instead of a normal astronomy camera? Would I still be able to see Jupiter and Saturn in the view at the same time with those? Uh, again, this is a field of view question, and you can do a lot of gymnastics or suffer a lot through trial and error trying to figure out what's the best combination of equipment for this event or really for any observing or photography pro project. But what I like to do is I like to use Sky Safari. Uh, the Sky Safari app has a great little feature for giving you a preview of exactly what you'll be able to see through your eyepiece or your camera with any telescope and that gives you the ability to kind of have an idea of what to expect when you get outside under the night sky. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how this tool works. Here we are looking at the main screen in Sky Safari Plus. Because the view you see through your telescope is going to depend on the specific combination of equipment you use, we're going to first need to tell Sky Safari what equipment you have, what are we going to use. This is pretty easy. We're going to go to Observe, select Equipment. Now you can see my telescope and camera and a couple of Barlows are already programmed in, but let's go ahead and we're going to add some new equipment. And this can be something you already have, or it can be that dream telescope you're hoping for in the future. Simply hit Add Telescope. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can use the search window and find your telescope by name, or you can create a custom telescope. All you really need to know is the aperture and focal length if you want to do it that way. My telescope is fairly easy, so let's go Celestron. I have an 8-inch schmidt cassegrain Select that. Add to my equipment. And there it is. You can use the same process to add an eyepiece or a camera or any other accessory. Let's go ahead and we're going to add a camera so you can see what that looks like. Now I'm going to create a custom camera on this one because I'm going to put in my old Nikon. And the specific model is the D3100. As long as you know the dimensions of your sensor in pixels, you're in good shape. You also need to make sure that you enter the size of your pixel. There we go, hit done, and our equipment is programmed in. So let's go ahead and start using this to preview what the view would look like. We're going to go to Observe, and this time we're going to go to Scope Display. You see a bunch of different options for fields of view, and that's what we're going to play with. So this first one that you see already selected is my telescope with just the camera and no additional magnification. But let's go ahead and we're going to add a new field of view indicator. We're going to use my normal telescope. We're going to use my normal camera, but let's go ahead and we're going to put in the five power Barlow. Now we're ready to start using things. So the secret is right here at the bottom. Show even if not connected to telescope. We're going to turn that on. Hit done. 
Now, it might not look like anything's happened, but look there in the sea of Cassiopeia. That little green dot is actually a grid, which shows how much of the sky you would capture with this particular camera and telescope combination. So you can see what will fit on the screen when you take your image and what won't. Same thing if you're using an eyepiece, it'll give you a circle showing you what you would see in your eyepiece with that telescope and eyepiece combination. Now, I'm interested in Jupiter and Saturn, so let's go and see what they're going to look like on the day of the Grand Conjunction. We'll zoom in a little bit here. So yeah, those will all look really nice. Now, here's where this tool comes in really handy. This is just my camera in the telescope, but what if I want to crank up the power? What if I want to use a Barlow to increase the magnification. We can do that. Simply go back to your scope display. We're going to turn off the one we were just using and we're going to say, all right, what would it look like if I used my telescope with a three power Barlow? Ooh, we're looking even better. Now the planets and their moons are taking up even more of the image that I would get and this could be a lot of fun. You can continue to play around with this with all kinds of different combinations of equipment. The one last thing I want to show you is the grid for the camera here is shown in the mode where it's basically just horizontal, but you can play with the camera orientation a little bit as well. Go back to observe and scope display. How you have your camera twisted, you can adjust that here in the app by looking at your field rotation. So you can say, all right, what if I need to twist my camera a little bit in order to make everything fit on the screen? There it is. With that, I believe we've covered all the bases. Sky Safari is a great tool, and I hope this video helps you in your observing endeavors. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I'll also be doing a live stream view of the Grand Conjunction through my telescope on December 21st starting around 7.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, so please join me then. You can also follow me on Instagram at AstroZach, where I share some of my astrophotography work, and will definitely be posting some of my results from this event. With that said, stay safe, Merry Christmas, and dark skies.